What's up everyone? Film session now with Will McClay, the one and only, and uh, we've got our hands full this week with these Los Angeles Rams, especially with their defense. Yeah, and we're going to take a look at two of their players, two of the main ones, Aaron Donald, he's the straw that stirs the drink, and um, Jalen Ramsey. But we'll take a look at Aaron Donald here, run and pass. We're going to take a look at it here, what San Francisco is going to try and do. They're going to try and run the zone play. They're going to influence. They're going to try and get everybody going one way so the back can cut back. But what you're going to see is they're going to run a stunt inside to screw up the blocking, but then you see the athleticism of Aaron Donald to go this way, then put his foot in the ground and go down the line of scrimmage and make a play on an explosive back. The disruptive abilities in the run game are key. And, so, and he's got speed and power and quickness all together. Absolutely. So you'll see him here again, okay? They're going to run the stunt. The linemen are going to, where'd he go? Now he's able to run the back down from the backside. And this is something that, that the Cowboys, <laughs> Dak Prescott, you want to keep him away from this guy as much as you possibly can, especially a little bit banged up. Definitely. We want to keep him guessing and we want to take him out of the game as much as possible. So you'll see here, Pittsburgh, what they're going to try and do is now they want to try and double team him. Can't get him with one, so you're going to try and double team him. This guy's going to be the post guy. He's going to try and bump him over so that this guy can take him over. But you're going to see his balance and body control to be able to stay on his feet after the double team and then still go and make the play in the backfield. And what, what, what's crazy about this, Will, is that we're seeing Aaron Donald right here, but we aren't even talking about the rest of their defensive line. No, but again, he's the guy that makes all of it go. But again, you'll take a look at it here. Just there's the double team, the bump, but he's athletic enough to play off of it and allow disruption and then come and make a play. Now the other thing that he can do is what he's known for is being the sack guy. He's a very disruptive force on the defensive line. So here he is, it's a third down situation. They got a four man front. They got potentially six to block four. All right, but this guy's job is to block this guy. So he's gonna set him up and he does it in so many ways. There's speed and then there's power. We're gonna take a look at speed here. He's going to set him up with a little shake to the outside, get the offensive lineman to commit and move his feet. Then he's got active hands and speed to be able to beat him on the inside. And with the Cowboys, they have Xavier Suofilo out there. So that, that'll switch it up for the pass blocking. Yes, got a it backup will. backup out there. Yeah, that's what it, I mean. They may try and attack it. Xavier's got to be strong and firm in the middle, and we've got to communicate up front. Now here we're going to take a look at him. We showed him with speed. Now we're going to show him with power. A great rusher's got a tool kit, and he's got all the tools. So this is DJ Fluker, who's about 340 pounds at guard, a large man to try and move. Here's Aaron Donald here. He's going to get momentum, but he's going to go speed to power and take him off balance, and he's going to make the quarterback move. And it's not all about sacks. When you have a great pass rush, things, good things happen, and we'll look at it right here. He's going to take it. Now he's going to run right through the middle of DJ, power, Okay, quarterback moves, he plays off of it, and it's not a sack, but that pressure allows for the turnover to happen, and that's the front and the coverage working together and with a player like Aaron Donald makes it rough. And you know the back end of the Rams is going to be prepared to capitalize on those opportunities. They made that trade in the middle of the season to get Jalen Ramsey, who maybe the numbers aren't as loud as you thought they were, but he's definitely out there. Yeah, the best thing about a corner is when you don't show up, you know, when people, uh, you're not on the TV screen, and what that means is you're locking your guy out. So here he is. Here's an example. They got him for man-to-man -man coverage. We all know Wade Phillips is going to do a lot of different things. He's going to try and find matchups and confuse you a little bit. But for that to happen, you got to have a guy who can go one-on-one. -on -one. That's why they went and got Jalen Ramsey. Here he is on Julio Jones. Press coverage. Julio's going to release outside. Jalen has the length and the speed to be able to run with him, but then he also reads the route. Julio breaks the route off. Now Jalen's able to come back down the stem and use his length to disrupt the throw. Here he is. We're going to see him cover man-to-man -man against one of the best in the league. Key here is technique. He's patient. He allows him to release. Okay, knows where he's going. Now he stays low. He feels, he reads that hip, and then he plays through it. His length makes that a very tough catch, and he's going to let you know about it too. And uh, Mari Cooper, we all know it's no secret he's been banged up a little bit. So yep. he has an advantage in this one. There's the matchup that they're going to try. You know, hey, they're going to do a couple things, but they're going to try and stop Mari Cooper, and I think they'll put, put uh, Jalen on him. Now here's another look. So what Baltimore does here is they've got kind of a bunch set, all right? They've got a guy here. He's playing man-to-man -man coverage on the guy off of the ball. So what they're going to try and do is get rubs to affect the coverage. But what Jalen's very good at is seeing that, 
playing through the traffic, and then you'll see him close and break up the ball. All right? He closes, that unique closing speed, and then to finish on the play and finish through the hands, two tough players that we got to contend with on the Rams' defense. And their confidence is through the roof. I mean, I think that's a, they both play with a huge edge, and they know that when they're going up against teams. Right, and we have to challenge them, and we'll have to go after them, and, and, and may the best man win. I think we've got an opportunity to do some good things. Absolutely. Well, McClay here on the film session. Let's check in now and see what the players have to say about the matchup for this weekend.